Are you tired of struggling with your dinks at the kitchen line? Are you hitting them up or hitting them in the net? Then this video is for you. We're gonna be talking through basic form and technique, even some drills that are gonna help your consistency when dinking at the kitchen line. And also, we're giving away $1,000 worth of Selkirk credit to five people split evenly, so be sure to stay to the end of this video to find out how to enter. All right, let's roll. So starting out, we wanna get into one of the most foundational components of every pickleball shot, and that's the ready position. So I see a lot of players, they come out and they're flat-footed, standing up really tall, that paddle falls to their side. Instead, we wanna slight bend in those knees, and we wanna keep that paddle out in front to ensure that we're ready for the next ball. And we're gonna get more into the details of how to utilize that ready position later in the video, but for now, let's get into our next topic, and that's how to grip the paddle when dinking. One of the biggest mistakes I see beginners make when dinking at the kitchen line is they often hyper grip the paddle. The issue with that is that when you hyper grip that paddle, that energy is gonna transfer through your forearm, into the handle, up to the paddle face, and eventually to the ball. And that causes a lot of pop-ups. So instead, we really want you to think about holding the paddle on like a scale of one to 10. So I want you to think one is the paddle is kind of falling out of your hand versus 10 is like a Hulk grip you can see the veins in your arms. We want you to hold that paddle at about a three to four grip strength. Another important thing to keep in mind is we really want to eliminate extra wrist movement when dinking. The problem is, is that when you're moving your wrist a lot, it creates a lot of added variables. And to create more consistency, we want to eliminate those extra variables. Instead of using your wrist, we want to swing from the shoulder and we want to use those legs and core and really use those big muscles to create consistency at the line. A common mistake I see is people will hit outside of their contact point zone to the side of their body. Oftentimes that'll cause a pop-up or hitting in the net. Now, instead of that, you really wanna contact that ball in that zone in front of your body and cut off that angle. Another mistake I see is people will contact the ball behind their body. So when that happens, that really causes big pop-ups because all your momentum is going up instead of forward. So now that you know what not to do, this is what you should do when dinking at the kitchen line. So you have to remember, this is the best real estate on the pickleball court. I'm talking right at this white line. So this is where you wanna stay. Now that's not to say you can never step back. Sometimes you should step back in order to make sure that again, you're still contacting that ball in front of your body. Just make sure that you're gonna recover right back up at this kitchen line. Now, if you get a ball that's gonna go really deep and either go behind you make sure that you cut that ball off so that you're still hitting it in the correct contact point zone so last but not least one of the things we really want to focus on here is a nice short compact swing we really want to avoid that big back swing and big follow-through when dinking so I'm just right here and I'm just gonna take a nice short compact swing and I'm really avoiding taking that paddle too far back so now we're gonna do a drill to put this all together. Now this drill is called protect the castle. So as you see in front of me and my partner, I have two blue dots, okay? This is going to signify our castle. Now in this dinking drill, we're gonna go ahead and just start dinking back and forth. And my goal is to try to hit that dot or his castle as best that I can. And he's gonna do the same to mine. Now. My whole goal, again, is to hit his, but not let him hit mine. So this is gonna help you practice making sure that you're hitting that contact point in front of your body and just regular dinking techniques like short follow through, compact swing, and everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate. Again, my whole goal is to try to hit that dot. And I'm really practicing contacting this ball in front of my body. Woo! and taking balls out of the air that I should and letting balls bounce that I should. Now, an awesome thing about this drill is that you don't just have to stay straight up, but you can actually go cross court and work on your cross court dink. So it's the same thing. You guys both have a dot in front of you and this time you're working on trying to hit that cross court dink, taking balls out of the air that you should and making sure that again, you're recovering to that middle position. So, 
Make sure that you guys have this drill in your arsenal. It's one of the best beginner dinking drills that I can think of. Helps you practice all the things that we've talked about in this video. So make sure you try this one out. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, share with a friend, and subscribe to the playpickleball.com YouTube channel. And remember, we wanna know what you guys wanna see. So if you have ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments below. And as we mentioned before, we're giving away $1,000 of Selkirk store credit split evenly between five lucky winners. To enter, go to this link, and you can also find this link in the description below. And don't click away because we have another video coming at you.